Hi Instagram, it's Rachel and I'm a fourth year psychology student with a minor in health and society. Currently I'm working as a lab manager and a research assistant in Francis Chen's social health lab. I'm also a work learning student here in the department as a communications and web coordinator. So I'm pretty integrated here in the department. Um, I basically live in the Kenny building and I'm here to take you along my day. I'm gonna leave a ask me anything box here just so you can ask me anything about myself, about the department or about being all right so let's go so i usually come in at the time that the study coordinator assigns to me when you work on a team of ras usually they're pretty flexible with accommodating when you have classes and extracurriculars or when you're feeling energized to work um, so i'm just gonna head to the lab now So there are quite a few cool experiments happening in my lab right now, so I'm just going to go in and see if there are any RAs who can talk to us about it. Hi, so I'm Jennifer. I'm an RA at the Social Health Lab, and right now I'm working on a new study that uh, focuses on infant sleep and precisely how parent scents can help improve infant sleep quality. So I'm very excited to see you know, how that will translate into the community setting. Hi, I'm Natalie and I'm a research assistant at the Social Health Lab in the Psychology Department. I'm currently working on a project called Daily Acts and Social Integration, which measures the relationship between the daily prosocial behavior and well-being in students. How did I become a research assistant? Um, so I was actually pretty fortunate. At the end of my first year, my TA mentioned that she was looking for some RAs for the summer. Um, so I applied and we had a pretty good relationship. Um, so I got the job. I think that the process of looking for an RA position is different for everyone, but I would reach out to your TA, see if they're hiring. Um, I would continuously check the Psych UPC website. Um, they sometimes put up offerings as well as just going through each of through each of the lab website individually and seeing which one is interesting to you um, and applying directly through their online platform or emailing the lab manager. If you're looking to get involved in psych research besides or on top of becoming an RA, I would suggest um, applying for directed studies. I think being an RA is a super valuable experience because you not only get to put all those 217, 218 skills to use, um, but you learn how to run a study, um, you can learn how to use different programs like R and SPSS, you learn, learn just how the world of research works, um, and you meet new people, so what's better than that? This is actually a really good question and I don't think I addressed it earlier, but work learn positions are usually 8 or 10 hours a week, so they're not too bad. Um, for me, I am a person who likes to stay busy um, and I always like to do something, so I didn't, so I didn't find it um, hard to juggle my research assistantship or the work learn position along with my classes and other extracurriculars. Of course, everyone is different and everyone has different workloads um, that work best for them. Another task that RAs do sometimes is to go on supply runs, um, so I'm just going to go downstairs and print some consent forms. So if you're new to psychology, like if you're just starting the program or you just transferred, um, don't be dissuaded from applying to labs like earlier on because although some kind of may have requirements like statistics or certain averages, um, a lot of them are still really happy to have extra help. So I would just recommend like looking up kind of general fields of psychology that you're interested in. Like UBC has like a website for all of the psychology labs. There's quite a few. So really you could just find a lab you're interested in, shoot an email to the lab manager or the PI and say I'm interested and 
that's really all it is. Um, they're not paying you, so they're not usually super duper picky about who they're hiring, even though they seem to be picky. My tip for new RAs would be to learn everything that you can, SPSS or R, Studio, um, HTML, JavaScript, any coding language is definitely helpful. And also just like de design things, writing, anything you can, because everything is useful. So I guess my tip for RAs is to make friends um, and socialize with the other RAs in your lab. Um, especially our lab is pretty big, so it could be a little daunting to get to know everyone. But if you see someone in the lab, say hi, start a conversation. I think it's great that um, it's not only like a work experience, but an experience to meet other people, um, whether that be your peers. Um, you can talk to grad students, postdocs, your PI if that's possible. Um, but I would really suggest keeping up these relationships. Thanks so much for coming along with me. I hope I was able to answer some questions as well as show you what the life of an RA is like. Um, but if you do have any more questions, feel free to DM me here on Instagram. I'll put my handle here. Um, but thanks so much and I hope you have a great rest of your day. Bye.